To restrict the dates that people can enter in Excel, you can use data validation. On this sheet, we want to restrict these cells to dates that are within January 1st and July 31st. So I've selected all the cells and on the ribbon, go to the data tab and click data validation. On the settings tab, right now it will allow any value I'm going to click the drop down and select date. Now I could choose a date between a start and end date, or there are other choices here. We could select greater than, so that would restrict to a specific date and anything after that, less than, and other options. I'm going to leave it as between. Then for a start date, I could type something in here and type a specific end date, but it's easier to manage if I have the dates on the sheet where I can see them and adjust them there. So I'll click in the start date, and then click on the date that I've entered as the start date. I don't want this date to adjust though. If we move the data validation further down the worksheet, I still want it to go back always to cell E1. So I'll press the F4 key and that will lock with a dollar sign in front of the column and the row. So it will always go to that cell for the start date. And for the end date, I'll click in this box and then click the end date and press F4 to lock that cell reference. When I click OK, now every cell that I had selected will only allow dates in this range. If I click in here and type 1114, it won't allow that. I'll get an error message and I can cancel and then put in a date range of 2, 2, 13 and it will accept it. Another thing we can do is use formulas instead of specific dates. So in these date cells, I want to restrict the dates to something between today and six days from now. So if this is Sunday, it will accept today's date and then everything up to the coming Saturday. So with the date cells selected, on the data tab, click data validation. On the settings tab, click the drop down for allow and click on date. Again, I'll leave it as between. And for a start date, I'm going to enter a formula. So I'm going to enter this equals today. So that's the earliest date that will be allowed. For the end date, I'm going to use today plus six. So equals today, open and close bracket plus six. With those formulas in there, I'll click OK. And so this will adjust. So next week, that whatever day of the week it is, that will be the earliest date that's allowed as an entry. So in here, I can press control semicolon to put in today's date and it's accepted. But if I put in 1113, which is far in the future, it doesn't accept that date. So with data validation, you can restrict dates to a specific range or use formulas that will adjust as time passes. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.